everyone and welcome to the temporary chapel here at St Margaret's Vicarage for this service of night prayer or Compline. Tomorrow of course is the Feast of the Ascension, 40 days after Easter and the uh, Ascension Day Mass will be premiered, premiered tomorrow uh, on YouTube rather than being on Facebook. Uh, there are some various pieces of recorded material uh, in our Mass tomorrow, so we will pre-record that for it to be premiered on YouTube. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made Who heaven, heaven and, and earth. earth. Most merciful God, we, we confess, confess to you before the whole company of heaven and, and one another that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and, and sin not. not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep. For it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High, and abides under the shadow of the Almighty, shall say to the Lord, My refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust, for he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He, he shall cover you with his wings and, and you shall be safe under his feathers. 
his faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, and the Most High your stronghold. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your tent. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because they have set their love upon me, therefore will I deliver them. I will lift them up, because they know my name. They will call upon me and I will answer them. I am with them in trouble, I will deliver them and bring them to honour. With long life will I satisfy them, and show them my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary, and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth, give you blessing out of Zion. Glory, Glory to the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, is now, and, and shall be forever. Amen. You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that as awake we may watch with Christ, and the sink may rest in peace. So we continue our prayers first this evening for God's world and all of us and all those whose lives are deeply affected by the coronavirus pandemic. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy, in this time of our uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And our prayer for all those who are caring for the sick, the anxious, 
we continue to pray especially for the life of our nursing homes and in this parish for Abbeydale, Abbeyfield, Glen Rosa, Straven House and Troutbeck for their staff and for their residents. For the life of our local hospitals and particularly Airedale and for the staff there and the patients. For all in isolation or self-isolation and for all who are caring and supporting the vulnerable. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid or in isolation. In their loneliness be their consolation. In their anxiety be their hope. In their darkness be their light. Through him who suffered alone on the cross, but reigns with you in glory, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, sustain the dying, calm the suffering, and pity the distressed, all for your love's sake, O Christ our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. Finally, we pray for our homes, for our loved ones and families, both near and those far away. Visit, O Lord, our homes and this place, we pray, and drive far from them the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell therein and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give <coughs> us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Amen.